Well, hey, Aquarius, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to see what we have for you guys today. This is going to be your past, then we're going to get your current, and then we're going to get your future. Now, I am not going to clarify your past Whatever comes out, that's your past. And then we'll go ahead and continue and clarify the current and the future. So let's go ahead. Let's get the past for Aquarius. What are you guys trying to get over and leave in the past? <laughs> this is going to be for Aquarius. Aquarius past here. Okay, so two came out. So eight of pentacles. Ooh, seven of wands. Let's get it. Pass for Aquarius. I feel like you guys are still kind of in this energy though, as far as working with that Eight of Pentacles. I still feel like you guys are in that energy. Uh, and, and, you know, a lot of you guys may have more than one option or people who are trying to get your attention. Mm. Something to do with your past. Okay. You guys, let me just tell you, you guys have more than one option. But um, and this is interesting because even though the, the, the will of fortune to me makes me feel like you guys felt like you were unlucky in something because the will of fortune is fortune, but there's something that you feel like you missed. There was fortune that you didn't have something that you didn't gain. Now this could be in love. This could be in work. Maybe you guys weren't fortunate in your work. Eight of Pentacles building. You guys haven't been fortunate in that or you weren't in the past. In the past here with the Seven of Wands, there could have been fighting. You could have felt like it was you against the world with the Seven of Wands, okay? You also could have could have been in a relationship where, you know, mentally you knew that it wasn't good, but your heart was with this person. And the Justice card is like, maybe you walked away because you wanted a connection that was real and fair. So I see both situations. I see that a lot of you guys may have been very unfortunate in work, building your money. Some of you guys have been unfortunate in relationships of all kinds, romantically, even with friends and family. But that is going to change, right? We already know. So I'm not going to clarify it. We're going to go ahead and get, go into your current and we're going to see what's happening with you in your current. Let's get it. This is for Aquarius. Wow. That was kind of deep, Aquarius. I didn't expect all of that. <laughs> that was deep. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is going to be for Aquarius. Aquarius current. Aquarius current. Okay. How many of these that came out? I was only supposed to be getting three. What's up with this? I might as well take it because it's here. All right. So currently, oh, look at that. There's the, there is the, this is the problem. Nothing moving forward, right? This is the answer. Movement. We're going to get to it. I love it. This is you, Aquarius. At the bottom of the deck is the seven of swords. You guys are going to be very strategic about your about moving now about where you move <laughs> this could be about your jobs that type of thing you're keeping your plans very quiet here with the seven of swords so let's just go ahead and say uh, currently what's going on so some of you guys are still kind of stuck but that's not going to last because the eight of wands is here communication and clarity is definitely going to be a huge deal with you coming up if you got if it has not been the Ace of Swords is communication, Eight of Wands is communication, but it's also clarity is victory. And this is good because you guys are in a victorious energy, especially if you guys haven't been there. You're like, ah, I haven't been feeling victorious. I, life has been very unclear. I don't know. The Ace of Swords is like, yeah, I know. And if there's things that you guys have been wanting, wishing for, hoping for, you're going to have a better direction of where you're going with that. Because uh, the star card is coming right after the Ace of Swords. So, you know, like I said, whatever has been hanging in the balance, things haven't been moving, 
your love life has been unclear, your money has been unclear, things are definitely gonna start moving for you in a positive direction. This is your current, which means it's gonna be happening very soon. So we're gonna go ahead and clarify that. We're gonna see, let's clarify the hangman here. Some of you guys are waiting for somebody though. Who are you waiting for? Aquarius, you waiting for a phone call? Is that what the Eight of Wands is about? You waiting for someone to communicate with you? Waiting for someone to pick you up at your house? <laughs> That could be it with the Eight of Wands traveling, right? Hey, man. Let's see what this is about for Aquarius. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are still stuck on the past. Listen, you're still waiting for someone in the past. It's like you know they're not good for you, but at the same time, like I said, your heart. We saw that earlier. Your heart is still with someone that may not be good for you, or it's just, it's not working out, something that's not working. But you're waiting for someone, you're waiting for someone to, com to communicate. Let's get this Eight of Wands. Yeah, look at this. You've been watching this thing, and they've been doing it too. <laughs> so you do have someone here that, um, you know, this person may wanna come in, maybe apologize in their own way, okay? But you're still holding out on hope with communicating with this person. You've learned a lot from them, but you guys are definitely watching each other if it's a relationship. You guys like to read a lot? Let's go ahead, let's get the star card for Aquarius. This is you. Ooh, Aquarius, you're about to be in love. And if you're not in love right now, you will be. Ooh. Ooh, you have more than one person. Wow. You have a past person and you have a new person. Both This right here is like both of them are going to make this known. Whoa, what in the what? Aquarius, hey, go ahead now. This is spicy. Some of you guys. Ooh, this, this really is. Somebody sneaking around. There's more than one. It's definitely more than one person here, okay? I feel like if you're separated from your person, though, like I said, you're you're frustrated. You want to reconcile with someone from your past. That's just what it is. A lot of you guys are still holding out hope with this person because you're so in love with them. You want communication. And this is the answer. It's Ace of Swords. That's it. But let's go ahead. Let's see what this Ace of Swords. Yep. There's, and there it is. King of Wands, you definitely have someone communicating with you. You find this person extremely attractive and you're going to be so happy when this is over and done. And it will be. This is coming up soon for you. So, you know, like I said, a lot of you guys are waiting for your past. Some of you guys are trying to move forward. Some of you guys are talking to someone new. And it's not really showing anyone new, but sometimes here with the Ace of Swords, it's a new beginning, okay? Um... And in the, in a, the lovers is more than one person most of the time. So you guys have options and choices. Um, I don't really see anything about your money too much in this, in this part of the spread. This is really like mental and emotional, and emotional um, what's going on with you right now. But a lot of victory because you're getting what you are, you're getting this clarity, you're getting this communication. This is what you guys need because you've been hanging in the balance. So this is helping a lot. So let's go ahead. Let's see what else we have. Let's get the last part for Aquarius. Movement, finally. That's exactly what I'm hearing. <laughs> it's like this sigh of relief that I feel in your energy, Aquarius. You're like, I think I can talk to them. I can, you know, finally figure out what is this all about. And even if this person is new, you're so excited that this person is communicating because they're so sexy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this. Last one for Aquarius. Last card, future for Aquarius. Ooh, yeah, there's there's very much so. So a lot of you guys are going to try to move forward. And this is the problem. You'll move forward, yes, but there's still part of the past that's kind of pulling you behind. But we'll see. Because you got an opportunity here. You have, you have opportunities. Your money looks good. I'm glad that that came out here with that. Ace of Pentacles, that means strong standing in finances, especially if you've been having problems with that. I think we talked about that earlier in the read. Let's go ahead. Let's get this Strength card for Aquarius. Strength card for Aquarius. I see reconciliation. I see reuniting. 
that's what I'm saying. Someone doesn't want to miss on the op out on the opportunity here. Thank you. Look at this. Yeah. So I do see someone coming back in here, but somebody is there's a secret. So if you guys haven't talked, you will. You're trying to put this person out of your head, though. That's what you're doing. A lot of you guys have been knowing this person for a very long time. Or you were in a relationship for a really long time. But this person was very in and out. You could have been a mistress, okay, for some of you guys. You got, you got other opportunities, okay? Even if you were in a relationship long term or not, or you were just, you know, a secret person, you know, this is going to be a call for you guys to open up your options. Open up your options, okay? Focus on your money. There is a happy outcome, and I feel like some of you guys don't believe that. There's a lot of change coming in for you, but change is going to be for the better. And so you're, you got to focus on that. Money is coming in. You don't have to be unstable in your love life and stuff like that. But, you know, the past is really pulling on you. Okay, so this is something that you guys are going to have to work out within your heart. And I do feel like you guys are going to succeed with that. But this is what I have for you here, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys are new, please like, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.